Hi everyone and welcome to Pocket Full of English with Miss Ina. There are many occasions in which we need to describe an action or event that happened. And very often, that includes repeating what someone said. In order to describe what other people said, we may use two different types of speech, direct speech and indirect speech. For today's lesson, we are going to focus on direct speech. We are going to discuss how to write direct speech, the correct punctuation, and vocabulary to report direct speech. But before we begin, let me remind you that there is a short quiz after the lesson. So you have to watch and listen carefully to get a full score. Are you ready? Come on, let's begin. Direct speech. What are all of you doing? He asked. The hare said, that is a good joke. These are examples of a direct speech. What is a direct speech? A direct speech is a report of the exact words used by a speaker or a writer. It is very common to see direct speech used in books or in a newspaper article. When we use direct speech in writing, we place the words spoken between quotation marks and there is no change in these words. The first word within quotation marks begins with a capital letter. Quotation marks are also called speech marks or inverted commas. A direct speech is also accompanied by a reporting verb or signal phrase. With direct speech, it is common to use the verb to say, said in the past, as part of a reporting clause. But we can also use other verbs as ask, reply, or shout. A reporting clause consists of a noun or a pronoun and a reporting verb or a signal phrase. The first word of the reporting clause should not be capitalized if it is situated after the quoted text unless it is a proper noun. We can use direct speech for statements questions, exclamations, or orders. When we write direct speech, we can mention the speaker before or after the words that are actually spoken. Let's look at some ways of writing direct speech. Statement in direct speech. We'll have fun as a family, Dave said. The exact words of the speaker are, we'll have fun as a family. It begins with a capital letter and ends with a comma. It is a statement, so it ends with a comma. Our exact words are enclosed in quotation marks. Our reporting clause is, Dave said. It begins with a capital letter because Dave is a proper noun. It ends with a full stop. Our reporting clause is written at the end of our direct speech. This direct speech can be written in another way. Dave said, we'll have fun as a family. The exact words of the speaker are, we'll have fun as a family. It begins with a capital letter and it ends with a full stop. It is a statement. The exact words are enclosed in quotation marks. 
The reporting clause is Dave said. It begins with a capital letter and it ends with a comma. The reporting clause is written at the beginning of the direct speech. Let's move on to the next set of examples. Question in direct speech. What can I do to help? Alvin asked. The exact words of the speaker are, what can I do to help? It begins with a capital letter and it ends with a question mark. It is a question. The exact words are enclosed in quotation marks. The reporting clause is Alvin Ask. It begins with a capital letter because Alvin is a proper noun. It ends with a full stop. The reporting clause is written at the end of our direct speech. This direct speech can be written in another way. Alvin Ask. What can I do to help? The exact words of the speaker are, what can I do to help? It begins with a capital letter and it ends with a question mark. It is a question. The exact words are enclosed in quotation marks. Our reporting clause is Alvin Ask. It begins with a capital letter because Alvin is a proper noun. It ends with a comma. Our reporting clause is written at the beginning of our direct speech. Let's look at another set of examples. Exclamation or order in direct speech. Hurry up, he shouted. The exact words of the speaker are, hurry up. It begins with a capital letter and it ends with an exclamation mark. It is an exclamation or an order. The exact words are enclosed in quotation marks. The reporting clause is, he shouted. It begins with a small letter because he is a pronoun. It is not a proper noun. It ends with a full stop. The reporting clause is written at the end of the direct speech. This direct speech may be written in another way. He shouted, hurry up. The exact words of the speaker are, hurry up. It begins with a capital letter and it ends with an exclamation mark. It is an exclamation or an order. The exact words are enclosed in quotation marks. The reporting clause is, he shouted. It begins with a capital letter because it is written at the beginning of the direct speech. It ends with a comma. Let's move on to the last example. Direct speech in two parts. He has done it, a man exclaimed. Our town is saved. The exact words of the speaker are, he has done it, and our town is saved. They both begin in capital letters. The first ends with an exclamation mark because it is an exclamation. The second ends with a full stop. It is a statement. They are both enclosed in quotation marks. The reporting clause is, a man exclaimed. It begins with a small letter because A is not a proper noun. It ends with a full stop. The reporting clause is written in the middle of our direct speech. Quiz time! Place the quotation marks and other punctuation marks in the following direct speeches. Time to check the answers. How many correct answers did you get? Amazing job, everyone. Thank you for learning English the easy way with me. I'll see you again soon. Bye!